everyone, my name is Kira Harlemore. Um, thanks for joining in with Love Talk with Kira, where we discuss 50 ways to love, the do's and don'ts of dating in today's era, where we also discuss sex fetishes and going deeper. And on my YouTube channel, we're gonna be giving some quick tips, five minutes and under, for you to utilize right now, today or tomorrow, okay? If you wanna join into my podcast, you can type in Love Talk with K-I-R-A, and join in with about 45 minutes to an hour uh, sessions on, uh, you know, on a, a podcast platform. Okay, so check those out. We're going to go much deeper into every discussion that I'm having here on my podcast. So check this out, okay? Okay, or you can go under kiraholomore.com or be inspired with kira.com, okay? And you can also email me at kira at kiraholomore.com. Um, where you can go onto my website, you can also um, purchase the book. You can go under, I used to have a radio um, talk show that was just a few episodes, but you can go and listen to that as well, okay? So anyway, back to the subject at hand, right? <laughs> Tonight we're gonna discuss um, whether or not you're insecure. Okay, do you feel like you're insecure? Are you always questioning your partner's motives, your partner's, um, ways of handling situations, you know, you may be insecure, okay? It depends on what it is exactly, specifically, that you're um, discussing. Now, if you're always wondering if your partner likes you or not, or if you're wondering if, uh, and you're, like, in a relationship, and you're wondering if your partner likes you or not, there's some insecurity there, obviously. There's a reason for that. Either they're not giving you what you need, and they're not understanding what you need, so they don't understand your love languages, Go over those, what it is that makes you uh, appreciate, uh, makes you feel appreciated, loved, and wanted, and desired. Go over those quick uh, steps with them. It's very, very, very important. Um, go over those, both of you, okay? So both of you, like, sit down with no one else around. Don't do it in front of any other friends. Don't listen to anyone else's opinion. Only the two of you. That's very key, okay? Um, communication with just the two of you and your dynamic is important. Get the dogs, the animals, the cats, kids, everybody else, the moms, dads, families, cousins, everybody, friends, whoever. Keep them completely out of your relationship 100% and you and the other person discuss what it is you want, need, and desire only, period. Okay, you guys need to have that dynamic down and discuss what it is that you actually really need within the relationship. Don't ask anyone else. It's not up to them. They're not in the relationship. They have nothing to do with it. If you are not capable of asking your partner these things, then, and you keep asking anyone else what you should do, then you need to really consider why you can't do that. Okay. You're obviously, um, you're not ready to, be able to talk to the person like you need to you need to man up or you need to woman up and be able to own your own self and love yourself enough to know that you're worth it you're worth talking to that person you're worth discussing what you need and want and desire in, in a partnership with that person okay you don't need anyone else in your in your life or relationship you need the other person to um be there have your back not judge you um, reciprocate the same feelings, you know, as far as trusting and, um, understanding and, you know, really taking that time to think about what it is that you're, you're saying and what you're needing and, and then go from there. Okay. And be vulnerable. It's okay. It's okay to be vulnerable and be open. But what it is, is that you need to get everyone else out of your business. Okay. And don't air your business to everyone else. Right? It's no one else's business. And if people are there constantly asking you questions, don't answer them. It's not their business. That's how that works. People try to sneak in and make it their business. But you know what? That's when you need to think about what they're doing in your surroundings and your friends. And maybe you have some friends you shouldn't have. All right. And they're holding you back and they're lying about some stuff too. Think about that. People do that all the time. They'll set you up because they want them. Okay. Anyway, thanks for joining with Love Talk with Kira. We'll talk soon. Night.